high performance altitude simulator. And athletes like Lance Armstrong and Shaquille O'Neal use altitude conditioning to improve the performance of their bodies and help make their bodies. However, those technologies are, uh, if you do a, a communications analogy, they're like Morse code. You go up to one altitude and stay there. It typically, uh, they have to sleep inside these things. They take eight hours or longer a day, every day, to produce uh, a degree of effect of being altitude conditioned. What we found is by cycling the pressure in very specific ways, we can compress the time 20 minutes, two or three times a week, and we can also improve the effectiveness so that everybody can do it, not just the lead athletes. And where we think it's going to have a huge benefit is uh, a good example is a clinical study that was conducted by independent researchers from Stanford University. They put out uh, advertisements to the proof of the clinical study. Are you not feeling as young as you used to? Yes, yeah, so what are the benefits of this? It increases the amount of oxygen delivered to the cells. It increases the uh, mitochondria within the cells that convert glucose and cholesterol into energy and testosterone. And there was a study that came out of Spain about a little more than a year ago that said that, that uh, techniques like this may actually be stimulating the body's own natural stem cells.